Hello, this is Dr. Claudia Kotka from the Washington Institute for Dentistry and Laser Surgery. Today's topic deals with the difference between women and men. Certainly the general health has many different variables that are substantially descriptive and characterize uniqueness between men and female with respect to health, including oral health. And this is of course supported by a plethora of science, a great deal amount of information, both on the mechanism side as well as the influence of causative factors and of course the correlations between the variables. What that means is this, women, because of the hormonal uh, type of profile versus men, uh, particularly with respect to the time changes, the cyclical variation um, during monthly uh, uh, cycles and uh, changes, certainly have an added impact on the gums that allows for a certain amount of swelling, if you will, and everybody's systemic, dif uh, systemic profile is different within uh, individual to individual. So we certainly see the manifestations at the gum level. We also see them at the endocrine level. We see them at the adrenaline level, let's say, the hyperactivity of the muscles, the movement of the jaw with respect to this hyperactivity. For instance, the adrenaline uh, that is a um, consequence of the testosterone, um, strength potential of course, and the lifting of muscles and developing of muscles can certainly increase the load in the facial muscle area and increase the loan on the actual tooth structure, therefore being more prone to chipping. So just based on the examples I've given you, the in women who are undergoing the, the cycle, monthly cycle, let's say because of the hormonal um, uh, changes, not just um, of course uh, um, premenopausal, but also postmenopausal, or for instance, hormonal replacement therapies or birth control pills can certainly show the same type of manifestations in terms of the gums around the teeth are just fluctuating, they're getting a little more swollen, they're coming back to, uh, to normalcy, then swelling up again, and this variation with time can certainly invoke more signaling at the bone level to possibly and potentially induce um, early bone loss. These changes are very small, and of course, you need a very unique eye and a lot of a lot of understanding and experience and um, education on these particular topics. And so, it takes a very, very um, cautious and very observant eye to be able to differentiate, particularly early changes and early intervention options. For more information, you can always. Um, seek out the app at DC Laser Dentist, but also contact us at www.dclaserdentist.com.